on Zillia Arnold. I'm at a parking beat now. A little bit, a little bit nervous right now. I want to tell you that I was talking to some foreigners in Vietnam. Australian and an American. I try to tell them about how bad the bad people are. Some, some of them might be liberals. They're, they're supporting, you know, like New World Order. Some things that you may not know, unless if you do know. Like Hillary Clinton, for example. I try to tell them what is happening. Like, right now, it's, it's almost Christmas. It's the 1st of December 2016. And Turkey is doing something. And Syria, like, they're going into Syria, or they might be going to Syria. NATO is trying to declare war with Russia. There's these terrible things are happening in the world. I try to tell these foreigners, and all they can do, all they can do is they can just think of the things that they've been told by media. And they don't even know what is really happening. They're so blind and they're so ignorant of what is happening. These people don't know what is happening. You've got to be aware. And these people, and it's, they're not opinions. And these people always say that they're opinions and they ignore the facts that are out there. They know, they should know. If they don't know, then they're misleading people. And this is a problem that we have, is that they don't know history. They don't know what is happening. They don't want to talk about facts. All they want to talk about Hello. is lies that they have been told and they believe in these lies and no matter how hard you yell at them they don't listen they don't want to listen because they're ignorant they're blind and it's so sad that these guys they even say like an Australian say oh I don't like welfare but then he says like this guy he says that he doesn't like welfare but then he supports somebody who loves welfare so he contradicts himself directly and he doesn't see the hypocrisy in the contradiction. These people are this contradicting themselves and they live in this world that is blind and, and they support people like this guy, always lying, always lying, always being dishonest. These people are so dishonest. That they, that's why you have people who are late for their meeting. That's why they're going to be late. You know, that's going to happen because you got to have honesty. But you got to have honesty in your life. But you don't have honesty. How do you expect other people to have honesty if you don't have honesty yourself? And that's what that's what people have. They don't really understand what's happening. And it just makes me very, very sad that that they can just live in this world without without thinking about what is really happening. Like you may not be able to understand what I'm, what, what I'm saying unless if you know what I'm saying, if you already know. If you already know what I'm saying, that's great. But there are some people that don't. And and I really want those people to know. I want those people to know what is happening. But instead, they have to live in a bubble. They have to live in a bubble. And very, very disappointing. Very disappointing. Because it's like, they don't care. They don't care about what is happening. Like, for them to say, oh, we're all going to die, and we don't really care, like, they, they they laugh, and they ask questions that are irrelevant, like, did you vote, did you vote, like, and all they care about is their own little world, they don't care about other people, they lie, and they say, oh, did you vote, did you vote, like, you try to change the subject, change the subject by saying, oh, you didn't vote, so you're not qualified to talk about it because you didn't vote. <laughs> You, ha you don't know anything about what you're talking about. This is what the liberal people do. They try to say it and they try to laugh it off. And they don't want to talk about reason. And here I am, just trying to show people the hypocrisy. And, and I'm using all these words. And people who are... People who know, know. But, but the problem is the people that don't know. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, you don't know. I should probably 
work on uh, documenting this because this is probably a little bit too hard to understand. But uh, it's probably it's probably easier to understand if it was put together in a different way. Like this is just one video. I'm not the only person who is making videos like this. It's happening all around the world, the revolution, and that's a good thing. So people are waking up to the truth, and that's good. And I'm happy about that. I'm a little bit disappointed that there's still people, people from different countries who are coming here and they're lying about what's happening. And they're not aware of what is happening. They don't know history. They don't know about current events. And they just continue to promote things that are not really happening. And it just makes me angry because, because they're not educated. They don't really know what's happening. They don't care about what's happening. And it should be better. The world can be better if we took the time to educate each other more. And we can do better. We can do better than this. But we need to go to the places with the real news, not the fake news. The fake news is the main media, like CNN and ABC and BBC. They are fake, and you know that they're fake, and you will see the contradiction in their own evidence. They will admit to what they say is fake. Like, they will, they will, you, you, if you do the investigation, if you do the research, you can go to, the, to their own websites, and they will admit to the truth, but then they will come up in front of you, and they will say, oh, that's not true, this thing is not true, that thing is not true, but their own investigators and their own reporters will say, oh, but it is true. There are reports about it, there are books about it, there are videos about it, but they prey on people not being educated, and they're, they're very, very, you know, lucky that there are some people who are not educated, and they just listen to whatever whatever they hear on TV, like, oh, it must be true because I heard it from CNN, oh, it must be true because I heard it from BBC, and... Now they're trying to get more people to, uh, to, to believe that, that, that the real news is fake news. They're trying to, you know, you know, reverse reality, you know, make, make everything the opposite of what it really is. You know, if you think something is hot, they will say, they will say, for example, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. And, and you know, you know it's not true. 